Right guys, as promised from episode one, this is episode two, and we are d back where it started. We're at our old house in Allness. We've been here for about six, seven years, so got a lot of good memories in here. So we're gonna go in and show you a wee tour, and uh, we're cleaning the place out, so let's go. This house, yeah, as like I said, some fun memories in here, but we've grown out of it. So as you can see, you walk straight in, my head's really touching the ceiling, and uh, there's a small wee, uh, Oh, but the shoe racks used to be here with a few trophies here shoes everywhere here but uh it's all going now it doesn't even look like it's a house anymore um come through here like i said we're just moving out so this is where the dogs were in their cage under the steps we had a stair gate here we used to have a stair gate there as well so the only place they could go was kitchen and here when we're out um they're gone now as well they're in the new house and they're absolutely loving it rocky and poppy are dancing around because it's double the size Again, we just have pictures here, and I could be the new light bulb in this house. There you guys. So then through here, this, you may, I mean, not, this was a living room. So basically in here, we just had a big couch, a uh, TV on the wall, bookshelves and stuff here. So yeah, it was a really nice place to live in. It was, like I said, it was nice and cosy, nice, nice for myself and Sinead. But uh, it feels weird not seeing anything in here. We've got another few days to move out of this house, so we've been literally just in here trying to get as much as we could can out of the house so we're giving a few things away and the rest just went in the dump because we've got so much stuff that we don't need to take out of the house but yeah this is the living room like i said we used to have i used to have a few trophies in here as well just in the corner just to have a british <laughs> they're not in there anymore <laughs> britain strongest man trophies just to when i'm chilling out here just to kind of remember what i've won and stuff so it's quite nice but um yeah as you can see everything's just gone away but it feels really weird being in here with nothing in it um still a minute if i want to pause but apart from that all good this is the kitchen this place i hardly was in because i didn't like i don't like i like big kitchens that was one of the things why i wanted a big house was rock i wanted a big kitchen and this kitchen just wasn't big enough for myself and Sinead. as you can see right now when we moved in there was a breakfast and bar room along here but we moved the breakfast bar so we had more room so we just had a g-rat in here with storage we had drawers here so all this side was basically storage and then this was the bit of the kitchen that we should used the most there was washing machine tumble dryer there was cooking appliances there all cooking stuff there all our drawers have been white or no longer no longer full there was a fridge and freezer right there so you think of the kind of small space that's why and we were both trying to be in this kitchen it was quite hard to move around and stuff even being, me being in here right now it's still you know, there's not that much space but yeah um we just grown out this house but it's uh i actually think i made my best scrambled egg in this house the only thing i could make was scrambled egg and toast but uh yeah like i said there's always uh we, we used to just write things on the on the on the wall number one love makes a happy home always Remember who is number one? Yeah, so, and this is all empty in there, just about, so, um, yeah. That is basically the downstairs. Now, we are going up, up and away. Stairs are a bit creaky, that's the wrong way, so. This is, this is the bathroom. This was a uh, good while we're at it, but again, I was getting sick of being uh, having small bathrooms. I mean, I was sick of being in the shower and Tom poop. Yeah, that was it. She had been a girl. She takes a while. I just want to poo and shower and go. So I was pooing here. She was in shower in here. Um, but again, you could hardly. I mean, you and me standing in here myself. I take up more than half the space. So again, a bathroom's a bathroom. You guys know. I don't need to explain what happened in here, but. Uh, I used to cook food in here, eat food in here, do in here. I used and, uh, to cook food in a bathroom. I'm joking, I'm just taking the But yeah, even like the shower as well. But obviously this bath never got used by me because for obvious reasons. So we just used it as a, to soak, to clean the dogs were in it. Uh, she just use it sometimes, but the shower was the thing that I got used the most. Uh, this was our main room. I just a bit. This was... This is the mattress I use. You guys can get a sneak peek. Eight Sleep, the best mattress in the world. That's uh, the Eight Sleep bed topper. You probably guys have been heard me talk about it before. Literally, we didn't even have a super king. We had a king size bed against the wall, and 
this was probably our messiest room because we had so much clothes and so much stuff that, like, the, this house was, like I said, really, really good and really appreciate living in here, but we just didn't have enough storage. And when you get loads of stuff from sponsors and stuff, it was just so hard. So we just had, like, stuff like this. I had drawers, we had clothes everywhere. But all we really had in here was a bed and just stuff everywhere. But it's uh, much emptier now, as you can see. Uh, a nice view of the... Excuse the windows, but a nice view of the car. There's my car. There's Tom's car. Hey. This is one of the bits. It was annoying in the, in the house. And this is my annoying bit. We used this as cloth storage, but it was just covered with clothes. Actually, all the, everything in here was clothes, and it just got sort of how we used to chuck clothes in here because we just had so many. Nothing was organised just because, like I said, we had so much. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to miss this room. I like this house, I love this house, but I did not miss. This was a nightmare, isn't it? Uh, hey! The spare room. So, this is where 95% of storage was kept. This was meant. We used to actually have this room as a, as a room, but we got, like I said, we got so much stuff that we just used it as a storeroom. So you can see, we had all our sponsor stuff here, we had all my stuff, shoes. You literally opened this door and it was just all storage. So when like, we had the gas inspections and stuff, we had to move a snail trail for everyone to get through. So it's uh, cool, but I'll take you to the garden. We've not been in this garden for a while, but there's two things that is coming from this garden that no one's really seen before. Um, well, obviously everybody's seen a barbecue. Well, I'll either take this one or Luke's got exactly the same one in a box that I'll ask if I can use to take his. But this just needs to clean up a wee bit. Um, and then this. This is what I got ready for it's a, a Highland Cow sculptured out of wood. So like, the guy's done a lot of stuff for our family. He's made benches in my mum's memory. He's made my dad and Luke's stuff as well. He's made all of his benches, but she did, he does these kind of stuff as well. So obviously Highland Cow, my favourite event, at the Stones, my mum's sunflower. Obviously being Scottish, got the cow and a ranger flag. So I think it's really cool. The annoying thing is, well, we've not really had been able to use it because it's like the garden's too small and doesn't really, doesn't go well with it. So in the new, house like you know at the entrance or somewhere it's just going to be really nice so it's really glad that it's going to be coming with us so the thing i miss the most is like the thing i like about this is like we're in a nice place and Sinead's works for like a lot of, has worked with a lot of these people that are on this road this is uh part of a uh, key so it's like a supported houses with people with disabilities and stuff and she worked in Vergara at them but then when we got this house this whole row has got like you know we've made friends with i i've I used to work with a few of them i've I've known him and you know you get kind of family and I mean that guy that came up to you today in the back of the car he's he always chats to us so you miss those kind of people because like they're just guy they're just fun people and they you know they they always used to have jokes with us we joked with them and that's kind of you know you used to walk around the back of here you see the girls on their bikes the men shouting to you oh that's a nice car you got today Tom so or how are you, how are you today so yeah yeah obviously you're going to miss this I mean we've been like I said the same place for I don't know what it is, six years just say. The same place for six years and you get to know the same people. I've not lived in Invergordon for maybe eight or nine years. So it's a long, long time not to live in the place you were growing up in. So I don't know, it's only five minutes away, but yeah, you get you get your comforts and stuff. You get kind of like, you know, I love the, I love the living room space just to chill out. And that was like, the thing I liked about the living room, it, although it was small, it was comfy. You know, at night time, we would just lie there watching TV. I'd take up half the couch, fall asleep, she would just be chilling out. But I'm going to miss more of the, the neighbours and like the dogs walking in the woods. And We're going to leave this chapter behind and go into a new chapter, but this chapter's been good. Like the last seven years have been incredible. And living with Shane as well have been all right. Nice, eh? Hey? Can you maybe lift the happen? There you go. Easy, man. You want to try and get the barbecue? Here, wait. What do you mean, officer? 
sort of strap them. Eh? Just a bit of a dog lead. Or by the stove. So far. Should we be happy getting this? Right off. The house is improving. I'm just going to tidy this up and we'll show you it inside and how it's getting on. You know, it's, it's going to blow away. <laughs> So guys, as you know, first episode, you see us touring the house, getting the keys. We've done a lot of work since then. I'm standing in the dining room kitchen. The walls have been painted. What a colour that is, isn't it? She didn't say they were going to go blue, but look at this. As you've seen, it's rather old kitchen. So basically, there were slabs on the floor. We finally got our kitchen from Ren. I won't say too much about them. At least it's all here now. Everything is looking good in the kitchen so far, but this is how far we come already, so this will be ready to move into hopefully start of October. Right guys, so this is a garage, this is so much different, I mean we basically got a house in there, we've got took some stuff from the old house, we've got the washing machine, tumble dryer, we've also all got a freezer, that's an extra one just so we can store like if we get stuff from Campbell's, just all meat that we don't have to keep in the fr fridge uh, freezer because that takes up so much room. This is the flooring, we got this delivered as well, so this is for the whole house basically. Um, Flooring's going in the whole house except from two rooms, so this is all ready to go. Right guys, so you've seen the old house, now our new house. We have been doing a lot of work. We have worked hard. So this is the front as you come in. We removed everything. This is still a work in progress, but we made some uh, Christmassy stuff. Janet, Sinead's mum, paint some cool paint paintings. She does loads of these uh, Christmas tree gnomes. Firstly, you know, the wooden flooring is down. We've not done any painting or nothing in here. It's just the wooden flooring, trying to decorate it a wee bit. And then through this wee one here. Oh yeah, and this hasn't really been done much. A wooden flooring, still the same layout. None of the bathrooms have been touched yet because, yeah, we've done too much already in this house. This is our temporary bedroom for now. You can have a wee glimpse at it, but again, there's just been painted temporary blinds, temporary stuff through here. You guys know where this is. This is exactly the same as you've seen it last time, but just a bit more. <laughs> just as we dump the shower. None of this stuff works, so the shower doesn't work, the bath doesn't work. We've got big designs for the bathroom. We're going to extend the shower and take the bathroom out and stuff, but that's going to come in the new year. We've done so much already. This side of the house is still a work in progress, a wee bit. We're coming through to the best. We are going away to Haggard's house, so we're just getting packed to go, but look at this, you walk in, Christmas tree. This is a massive transformation. We finally got the right couch that people had seen on Instagram. So we got this the nice big couch here. It's been all wallpapered at this side. There's gonna be the TV going up on the wall soon. We've just been in talks recently about getting a wood burning stove. So we've got someone coming up in the new year, I think, to install a wood burning stove for us as well. Rocky's loving it, Poppy's loving it. Say speak, whoop, whoop, speak. Yeah, good boy. Go bed, go to bed. Good boy, bed. Good boy, see that, right. So yeah, this has been pretty cool to been getting worked on. Obviously all the wooden flooring makes this cool. When the first one, the episode, this bit was missing here. This is all being complete now. Still a few wee sockets to put back on, but and now, this bit is here, this is unbelievable. This, had, this was just wooden flooring and we needed a table for Christmas and we got a, a kind of <coughs> 12 seater table. She had got her big massive mirror as well, which will be going on the wall, but yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. When you look at it through here, it's basically complete and it's looking pretty spectacular considering the first episode, it was just, yeah, a mess. There was nothing at all. So again, first episode, knocking walls down and everything, to then change into this masterpiece. So many workers been in here, it looks cool. We got a painting to go up from a fan, but like 
Yeah, this is... Hello, Sue. She's, she's breakfast. She's not herself when she didn't have her toast. Yeah, this is this is the cool part. This is a uh, this has been a big work in progress as well with a few problems having. But look at it now, fridges. We got the coffee machines, and then look another Christmas tree. What the heck? That's mental. Right, this is the boys' room. This is where no girls are allowed. Come with me. This. Has got a bit of balloons just now because Sinead actually, we actually hosted, Sinead hosted a, a baby shower in here so we got it all paint, painted blue and white. We thought when it was getting blue, we didn't know how blue it was but it goes perfectly so yeah, all blue. We've got the TV on the wall now. We've got the pool table. This pool table was from my brother-in-law's mum and dad. I used to play in this when I was a wee boy as well. Or maybe a punch machine, stuff like that. The lights are in. This couch is unbelievable. This is my favourite couch. It's got heated seats, cold seats, it's got chargers, it's got hot and cold for your drinks. This, these go right back as well, so you can do it like a bed. So I think in the first episode, all there was was a big, uh, a big snooker table and just looked all old and stuff. So for it to transform like this is pretty cool, but the space has opened up so much more with no, no uh, snooker table. He wants on camera, hey. Rocky, here. <laughs> hey! Bed. Of course, you need the Union Jacks, don't you? The Union Jack, red, white, and blue. Oh, you here? I think he's scared of the camera. Bed! Rocky. He's scared of the camera. Rocky! Bed! Close the, there's the camera because I said tuck. Bed! Bed! Right, let's do this. Right, this again is very, very cool. This was just old old wallpaper, but then we've got re-wallpapered, some new lights on it. So yeah, we've got some flowery wallpaper, just to brighten it all up a wee bit as well. We got the roof repainted, still the same design, but uh, yeah, it's so much more fresh and uh, it looks, it's massive as well. This whole bit out now is all completely done. And um, this was the bit that was driving us insane because we had all the kind of house done, but it was just this bit that was kind of, you walked in, it was still that old feeling. So this I, is still kind of the same as what it has been before. We just have it as a spare room. So my coach, Dan, was up recently as well. Nothing's really been touched on the walls. Nothing's been touched uh, painting-wise. Like I said, all bathrooms are just still a work in progress there. The thing that we wanted to have a wee rest dinner before Christmas because we've done so much, but that's a spare bathroom. That's basically, And this right now is a spare room, but it's also a storage, so... We got carpet in here just to keep the warm feeling. Um, our nieces and nephews shocked on this, but look, it's, it's nice. It's nice and white now. We painted it all. We'll be getting a bed and just more for yeah. When our nieces and nephews stay over, they can just have toys in here and just make a mess of it all. But yeah, this right now it's just a kind of storage for Christmas and stuff like that. So all good. We still got obviously the walk-in wardrobes, which is still the same. Uh, this bathroom is non-existent right now. It's exactly the same as. It was, again, just uh, the lights don't even work. But yeah, this is just storage. But we're going to have massive plans for the third episode. Hopefully that'll be a, a wee hydro pool coming. <laughs> this is cool. This is a lot of work done from Sinead in here. This, a wee bit of things getting storage in here just now. But this is the, the office. Hey, this is for Christmas presents. This is going to be my office. So as you can see, we kind of got it all painted a kind of like darker kind of blue. I just wanted it all uh, blue because obviously a lot of people have white ceilings or a different colour. But it's more when I'm doing like filming because like the light's quite powerful in here. When, when you when we're going to get blacked out uh, blinds so no one can see and we can't see out of there. So when I'm doing like, as far as I need to do photos for sponsorships or anything, we're going to get a computer set up here, get the calls and stuff and blah, 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 blah. Going to have like a display of the whiskies. Uh, some trophies and that here. Sinead's face is the best. That is the best thing in the world, huh? Take this around Take this around me. Uh, so she's uh, she's coming with me on the next to the tour. But yeah, this is quite cool because this is going to be my bit. Like, you know, sometimes you know, you've got calls and you, sometimes you just can't be bothered going to the office. And I wanted one in here just so I can come in here, you know, no distractions, blanked out lights. And then it's like, if I need to do photos as well, I've got this room now just to do everything I need to. So yeah, I was very, very proud of that. Sinead did a lot of work in here, so. 
I mean, garage is getting is getting there. It was right now. We've just stored some uh, cardboard, but it was fuller than this. But we we've got a big massive stock of rain from uh, obviously rain body fuel. We do our washing in here. I've got an extra like um, for the freezer. We're storing all like. When we get our bathroom revo uh, revamped and stuff, all the bathroom stuff's going to be here. We've still got stuff for like building in here and stuff. We're just going to be putting all storage stuff in here just to keep the house more clean. We don't going to be using our... This ain't going to be used for cars and stuff, so... Uh, instead of having all these filled with crap, we're going to have the garage. This as well, even this is all kind of... Down, no, 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 nothing in the garden has been done. The only thing that's been done is we cut the grass and we cleaned up the moss around the edges and stuff, but... In the summer, our plans to get rid of that hedge, replant stuff, uh, get the entrance a bit wider, just just make the garden make over in summer. The garden as it is right now is fine, but in the summer we're going to get it done. There's no point starting slabbing at this time of year when it's going to be icy and you can't. Then it's just going to be a mess. So, once the good weather comes in, we're going to get all new slabs. We'll hopefully, get peat slabbings. We're going to get some cool stuff in the garden. Yeah, my dad loves the garden. We love the garden. Broke growing up, so we need to make the garden. Bamboozling, right? So, you're gonna come with me, guys. Hello. You may enter now. See, I missed her, so I took it with me. I don't have to make a coffee, but I'll try. I've been very good at cooking lately, but I've still not made a coffee for myself in this house, so we're gonna try. So we're gonna get a cup. Yeah, then we heat it. I, I, I realize we heat this cup up. Right, and then put it in here later. We're going to put a latte, start, set to no froth. So we go to, he might have done this. Oh! What? Of course I kept it. I always keep things you can. Oh, look at this. Coffee Ka latte. Oh! My bad. That was just a... <laughs> oh, Jesus. But yeah, it's been good. Eight to ten weeks of hand graft and the house is 95%, 90% done. Hopefully in episode three, like we said, the bathrooms will be done. Depending what time of year it is, the good garden might even be started, but we might even get a separate stuff for the garden, so... Right. We got this. There's a Nando's bag in our garden. We don't even eat Nando's. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Episode two, over and out. We've been grafting in the house, but now we have to go. Cheers. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. <laughs>